Black Trunks, he weighed in 152 and one half pounds. In six fights, his record stands even with three victories, three defeats. One win coming by way of knockout from Atlanta, Georgia. Here is Terrible T, Terrence German. And across the ring stands his opponent fighting out of the red corner. Wearing bronze with green, he weighed in officially 150 and three quarter pounds. In one professional fight, he has one victory. That pro debut ending with a knockout, fighting out of and representing Coachella, California. Here is Greg Flores! This is good here, this is good here. Touch gloves if you want. God bless. Ray Corona, the third man in the ring for our third belt of the night at Golden Boy Fight Ray. Night. Ray Flores, the 18 year old. Recently signed to Golden Boy. Taking on veteran Terrence Jarman. What do you want to see from an 18 year old, Gabe? And I, I want to see him establish that jab. He's a long, he's long, he's tall. You know, and just come out and take this guy out. Make a statement. And, and if you're the last bit of replacement, what are you thinking? You know, I don't know much about this guy, Ready. Man, but you know, hopefully he comes to fight. He got called this week. He's in Atlanta. He's from Toledo, Ohio. He said he grew up with Brona, Herring, all the band camp guys. So he's got the boxing experience on his side. But he knows that he gets called at the last minute. He'll take a fight anytime. Grant Flores. Training with Joel Diaz. Now he's a young man, had a good amateur background, but as he got older, wasn't winning amateur fights because he was fighting like a pro and he's immediately loading up on punches and dropped to the point Jab as he's supposed to, you know, to catch the range. Jarman did land a couple of punches. It's that nice jab you like. So Flores is just warming up into the fight, popping the jab a couple of times. Right there, he did land that hook. That was a big hook that he landed. And there was that uppercut. Yeah, but the left hook was, uh, started the, started the, uh, the damage. See, he's on. He got caught. Ray is loud. Did he just say somebody stop it? No, no, he said, damn, he caught me. Oh, damn, he caught me. <laughs> that's, what it, that's what it looked like. Okay. Second bid comes officially at 51 seconds. Round number one. Your referee, Ray Corona, reaches a count of 10. And your winner by way of knockout, still undefeated, Coachella Zone. Ray So the green shirts are popular here. First round knockout. Talk to me, how are you feeling after this victory? I'm feeling great, you know, it's a first round knockout. Uh, I tried to take it to the second round, but you know, anything happens in boxing, you know, and me and my, me and my coach, we, did, we worked on that technique and you know, it worked. Yeah, I feel great right now. And since your ring walk, we've heard you have fans everywhere here watching you, supporting you. Did you feel any pressure having so many eyes on you tonight? You know, uh, you gotta, you gotta embrace that. All eyes on me. You know, it's a special night for me. Like I said, it's my dad's birthday. You know, I'm glad I delivered, as I said, in the first round. I love you, Pop. Thank you. And do you have any message for your fans who are at home watching you and everyone here who came to see you? I'd like to thank God first, my, my dad, my mom, my team, Coach Joao, Coach Stonio, Alico, Benjamin Hernandez, everybody, you know, all my su supporters, sponsors, family, friends, I appreciate everybody coming out, you know. It's a great now, and this is just one of many more.